Okay, this is a quick demo of how to use our tools on blackburndefense.com. So just go to the website, blackburndefense.com, and the top there are tools. Uh, we'll start with a group comparison. You're gonna start with a file upload. I'm gonna use this target that I found on a forum. I can't remember what it was and I can't find it, but somebody had a loose nut or something and they did a before and after and this is the results and so what you're going to do is you choose your two files and then your first two clicks are just going to be setting the scale so i'm setting the scale to one inch and then i'll do the same thing over here set the scale to one inch over there um, and you can change this to any number you like and then the way it works is i do a right click to set my group center then just a normal click on all of the bullet points and then again, a right click to start a new group. Again, it's a little off center. It's a little better. And then I'm gonna click on all of the bullet holes and I'll do the same thing over here. And I think that fifth one's in there, I can't quite tell. And then one more group. Okay, so now we've got a group set up and we can come down and see our scatter plots. You can, oops, uh, you can only zoom out right now. No zoom in. It's coming. So we have four rings, the CEP50, that's circular error probable 50%. Uh, this is the ring where 50% of the shots are going to land within this circle. And then same for 95, 99, and 99.9. So we got those scatter plots for the combined groups and then a histogram. Um, we don't have very many shots here, so it's not an especially interesting histogram, um, but it still does show not normal distribution, which uh, you can learn about in our previous videos. And in this case, uh, no significant difference found. However, P, P is greater than 0.05. It's probably because this is a small sample size um, that we got just barely over 0.05. I'm sure if they had added a few more shots to this, we would certainly see significance. They seem pretty different, um, but we'll have to wait and see. And then this one, again, is not very interesting due to the small sample size. But if you do want large sample sizes, if you go back home, uh, we have uploaded on our blog images of all of our 100 shot targets from our previous test and so you're welcome to use these if you just do a right click and save image uh, put in your downloads um, if you just leave the file name the same then you can go upload it and we have pre-populated all the all the points for you so you don't have to do it yourself and then you have lar larger sample sizes you can look at and we could compare this one to oh, I'm going down on the other one now. Maybe we want to compare this to the 223. Can oh, save image as. Save that. So we can upload our Creedmoor on one. We can upload the 223 on the other one. And then we can see our different histogram or our scatter plots, our histograms. We can get a little bit of stats out of it. And then in this case, yes. Uh, P is also 0.05, and then you can see um, our chart showing the number of shots required to get significance. Uh, the other tool we're releasing is the dispersion simulator. This one is just kind of more of a scientific exploratory tool. This is what we used to create our hypothesis of non-normal distribution, which um, you can just draw 100,000 on there and you can see it follows the distribution that we predicted. You can also use these here where I can select, let's say, aiming error. Um, as a variable that I want to remove um, and the standard deviation of that variable. So we currently are simulating a shot that shoots five shot groups of about 0.7 inches. If we want to remove this kind of error, we can simulate this and we can see that we have a 16% chance of finding that using 20 shot groups. And again, this has gone over in a little more depth in our other video, so I won't go deep into it, but you can also see alternative methods um, such as doing a five shot group t-test where you shoot multiple five shot groups you measure the extreme spread of all of them and do t-tests on them see that's not doing us a lot of good here 
And you can also just see if you want to shoot a bunch of five shot groups, measure how big they are and average them, you can see your chance of a correct result and your chance of a wrong result. Thanks for watching. We hope you check out our tool. We hope these tools provide value for you that you can get some use out of them. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see what we're coming up with next.